Getting diagnosed with ca cancer is a punch in the gut like you've ever seen before. Not only for yourself, but it hurts every member of your family, all my friends. Hi, I'm Jennifer Ficko. I live in Pooler, Georgia. I was diagnosed with metastatic melanoma in 2010. It's been a long journey. I had a tumor on the side of my head. I went to my ear, nose, and throat doctor, who I had a great relationship with, and I mentioned it to him. And he said, well, if it's bothering you, let's just take it out. The week before Thanksgiving, I went into a surgery center, and he took it out. And two days before Thanksgiving, he called me to say that uh, I had melanoma. To be honest, I didn't even really understand. We ran to the internet <laughs> to find out exactly what it was and how serious it was. And at the time, there wasn't much hope. And that's when it starts to settle in, that I may not be around for long. It was horrible, horrible. And it wasn't for me and you know my husband. It was, I have little kids. What am I gonna do? He sent me to Sloan Kettering, who told me that um, they had a new trial that they wanted me to do, but there was no reason for me to go back and forth to New York. So he sent me to Yale, because I lived in Connecticut. And we went to Dr. Kluger. I had surgery a couple days before Christmas and found the cancer in three lymph nodes. And that began the whole journey because it had spread. I started with Uravoy. That didn't work. Then I went on Optivo, and Optivo gave me the combination of the two. I had so many side effects. I was running out of options. Nothing was working. Uh, so Dr. Kluger said to me, why don't you try this? Happy to because there was nothing else. I had already been through so many other things that didn't work. Previously, it had spread to my paratracheal, my back. Uh, I had a tumor on my uh, flank. Uh, where else? My stomach. So it had gone quite a few places. Lifalusal is a first-in-class therapy. It's a complex therapy where we take a patient's tumor and we take the T cells or the major immune cells out of that tumor and then we dissociate the, the tumor cells and we grow the T cells in a Petri dish. So they took the uh, paratracheal tumor I, uh, to make this lifocell. The idea is that these immune cells that come from within a tumor actually are trying to fight the tumor cells, but they're just exhausted. So when we take it outside of the tumor and we stimulate it, we can rejuvenate those T cells. Then we bring the patient in a few weeks later, we give them high doses of chemotherapy to get rid of the bad immune cells or the surveilling immune cells. Then we infuse the patient's um, T cells right back into them and give them additional growth factor um, by IV with using a drug called interleukin-2. And then subsequently, those T cells will go on to fight tumor deposits all over a patient's body. It took a long time to recover from it, but thank God it worked. Fortunately, aside from the beginning, I don't really have any permanent side effects that I can't deal with. And I am just grateful, completely grateful and thankful that I was given this opportunity. Cancer's on the rise, all different kinds of cancer. We need the research so that we can find cures for it, perhaps prevent it. We can't do that unless Congress helps fund it. I was lucky, not everybody is so lucky, but we need to have Congress support. Otherwise, we'll never find a cure. Participating in the clinical trial wasn't even a choice. I had no other option. That said, I would have done it anyway. The only way we're going to beat cancer is if we try new things and do more research and have people willing to step up and say, look, I'm willing to try this because I want to beat this.